In the studio with us is the executive director of the Diabetes Youth Services Organization. And it's an organization that might now sound familiar to you, even if you didn't know about Diabetes Youth Services, because it was a favorite charity of Crystal Bowersox during the whole American Idol, hometown appearances, that sort That's of right. thing. And uh, tell us, for anyone who doesn't know about Diabetes Youth Services, what you do. We are a small local nonprofit organization that exists to provide services for families and children living with type 1 diabetes in Northwest Ohio and Southeast Michigan. Now, for, for anybody completely unfamiliar with diabetes, type 2 is the kind that adults sometimes develop later in life, sometimes due to, you know, environmental lifestyle right. issues. Type 1 is the kind that you can get as a child, you may have no control over it. It can be a genetic That's right. cause, correct? That's right. All of the, um, the causes are not necessarily determined, but it is basically um, a shutdown of the pancreas and an inability to produce insulin. So people with type 1 diabetes are insulin dependent in order to survive. And, and insulin for a child or for a family of a child, that, that's a big thing to deal with every day. It's a very big thing. Uh, it affects every area of a child's life and eventually that whole family's life as well. Diet, exercise, daily routine and everything. Okay. Now because of Crystal Bauer socks, um, a lot of people became more aware and a lot of people yeah. raised money and donated money to yes. your organization. What did that mean for Diabetes Youth Services? It was a huge boost for us. Uh, we'll always be grateful for the support that, that came to us this spring. Um, Crystal is an alum of our camp programs. She um, came down with diabetes when she was a young child and ended up going to our camp programs and obviously the impact that those uh, services had on her life were, were long lasting. Um, so we were able to raise a good $17,000 or so Fantastic. Um, yeah, through those efforts and it really helped with us uh, in our ability to provide our programs and scholarships for campers for our signature program this summer. Well tell us about your programs. Let's start with camp. Sure. Um, we do two camp programs in the summer. They're both age specific. So Big Shots Resident Camp is for children ages um, 10 to 15. Mm -hmm. And then our Little Shots Day Camp is actually next week and that's for children ages 6 to 9. Okay. Um, at the camps the children not only get the opportunity to network and make friends with other children who have diabetes because it can be a very lonely life. Um, but they also get to learn confidence and independence, building skills, um, learn how to give themselves their own shot if they aren't able to do that yet, learn how to count carbohydrates, things like that. Okay. Is there still room for campers? Actually, we are over capacity. Are you really? Year. Okay. Yeah. And in part, we think that um, the awareness that is in the community now as a result of this um, the crystal donation phenomenon, mm -hmm. um, it's really brought a awareness I think to more and more families so we're actually over capacity and we um, ended up letting the people who were on the waiting list this year in so oh, we've wonderful. got good, a good 40 kids next week okay. at camp. Well if families are watching and they might need some sort of diabetes services how can they contact you and find out more about what you do? Um, you're welcome to call us um, we are in the book at 887-8739 also our website is www.dys4kids.org and that's the number four. Okay, thank you so much, you. Susan Harms of Diabetes Youth Services. That is tonight's talk back. Thank you.